as you know, any adventure starts with a car trip. So we're headed off to the Willapa Hills Trail, which is a rails to trail conversion. I've loaded up the bike, my lunch, and we're ready to go. This is the small town of Vader, Washington. Small towns like this used to be the heart and soul of this country, but seem to have faded. And what you see is just about all there is. I hope you didn't blink and miss it. This is the town of Menlo, Washington. It's on the west side close to the coast. Sitting here getting ready to do a long bike ride, Willapa Hills Trail. There's the rig, my bike, about ready to go. I'm eating lunch. As soon as I'm done with that, I'm gonna hit the road. This is the Willapa Hills Trail. On my bike, headed south, east. And I was concerned about this portion of the trail because it's unmaintained. So it was, look, and they said the bridges were maybe not up to speed, but these look fine to me. So it looks like I'm not going to have any trouble getting through the trail. Run a long straight stretch. And I realized that there was, I just, as I got here, we crossed another bridge. Didn't even know it was here until I was over the top of it. Okay, I'm riding down the trail and realized I forgot something. I got my butt or it's one of those long-term bike ride things you do to kind of keep things comfy if you know what I mean takes a little bit on the sit bones and any place else you happen to think it might be valuable but er love it We're at mile 7.51 and it looks like there's a bridge coming up.
Hmm. This looks like the trail, but obviously no cars have been here. There's the road over to the left. I was afraid about this unmaintained portion of the trail, but here is obviously an impassable piece. But I'll just buzz over here to this road and then back on the trail. I was talking about this little issue with one of my kids this morning that one of the features of doing a bike ride like this is you don't really know what kind of shape the trail is in. And I think it is quite fun to run across a situation like this where the trail isn't really what you'd expected it to be. So we get to improvise and go around and you always just wonder, well, shoot, is this going to be the end of the line on this railroad to trails trail or are we just getting started so we're seven and a half miles in and we'll hope to continue well we've come to a crossroads hard to say but I'm thinking I can just walk across this. Certainly it's not the best structure ever, but it certainly should be big enough, strong enough, stout enough to hold one person walking across, wouldn't you think? Looks like most of it is pretty stout railroad ties. Pretty little creek down below. Look at this cool place. It's all probably alder coming up along this old railroad bed. And then, of course, the, the grass is growing in. It's just is quite pretty, quite impressive for, to me for a nice springtime bike ride. town of Liebham. That's the trail that goes to the other washed out section. This one goes around so I can get back on. So this road took off the trail back about a quarter mile. Now up here at that rise where the, on, where the trees are on the left. There's a trail that dives down onto the, back onto the rail trail. The State Park, the Willapa Hills Trail. This is the way I came out. There's the place that I got stopped. 
don't think I can do this one-handed, sorry. Gonna have to put you down. So that's it. That's the Willapaw Hills Rails to Trails bike ride. Thanks for watching. I'm going home. This is the odd man, out.